Hey, produce like a pro Studio One users. This is AJ here coming at you live. Maybe I should just use my radio voice. <laughs> hey guys, just um doing some videos and stuff here in the studio. Um and I decided to download um the new academy track by um the gallery called White Noise. I think it's that way around. It's hard to tell these days with band names and songs. So it could be White Noise by The Gallery. I think it might be. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. So I thought I'd just share. I've just come across a setting that I never even knew that existed inside Studio One. And I'd like to share it with you all here today. So, as per usual, I've downloaded all the multi-tracks for the, uh, the track itself. And as per usual, I would make up, as you can see, I've made up folders, folder tracks for each part of the song, each instrument, guitars, chorus, guitars, however they were named from Pro Tools. and Put them in their little folders. This way I can work on um, I can work on getting a mix quite quickly um, if I need to concentrate on the drums, then the bass, guitars. Usually this is my way of listing it. I leave all the vocals and everything at the bottom. This is just how I do it. Okay, so for instance, under normal circumstances, I would open up the folder here and start working on the drums. Why I use folders is because I can switch on group here, which is on the track, folder track, sorry. And what that does is it automatically groups everything in the drum folder for editing. So that's the way I've been doing it for a while. But one thing that's a little bit daunting sometimes is that when you show the mix down here, you've got all these tracks. Like, I mean, it it looks good and all, but, you know, it can become quite confusing if there is stuff everywhere. So that's what I why I would make up folder tracks for each one so that I could... Um, kind of get an order or a like an order that I like to work in and so that I can um, just start fairly quickly I know where everything is but one of the cool things I've just noticed is that if you go to the little options bar here which is like looks like a little tiny wrench so if we click on that and you can see we have some grouping options visibility channel components etc that you can show and hide for the mixer but i noticed this little visibility one here which you can turn on link show hide of track list and console so if you actually put that on that means that it'll link the show and hide of the track list and the console. So in other words, whatever track you're looking at, it'll come down onto the console. But there's also this link expand collapse of folder tracks with show and hide. Now, please let me know if you knew this already and didn't tell me. Um, but I found that if you actually turn on that option, you'll notice that all our tracks have disappeared. And I thought this was a problem. I didn't know what I, what setting... I was just mucking around trying to, to improve what I was doing. But what this actually means now, that if I want to, say, work on the drums, as soon as I open this folder track, the console opens and gives you all the faders and controls, etc., for each track for the drums. Same with the bass. 
guitars, keys, you get the picture. So that way you can work on a uh, very specific part of the mix. If you want to work on background vocals, you can go to there. You know, lead vocals. I've already doubled a couple of them here with inside the folder. But this little option here is actually a really cool way to hone in on what you're doing. So if you want, if you're, um, say the bass is a little bit out of whack with the kick drum, for instance, um, or you wanted to mix the, um, you wanted to mix, say, the bass, the kick drum or bass drum with the bass guitar, you can make up a folder. Uh, so that you can have just what you need for that particular task, which I thought was really, really cool, and I thought I would share with you guys. So just to backtrack a little bit so you understand what I'm going on about here, is that when I imported all the tracks for the song, I made up folder tracks, which allows me to sort everything into their um, specific instruments, etc. This also gives you the option to group things really, really easily together. And also, if you have the option for link show hide of track list and console and the link expand collapse of folder tracks with show hide, that now means that as soon as you open up, for instance, guitars, there you go. There's all of your um, there's all of your guitar tracks in the console ready to edit, etc., etc. So there you go, guys. That's a um, AJ's little trick of the day that I came um, across by accident. Actually, I didn't even know that was that existed. But it's a little workflow idea that maybe would work for you. Um, give it a go. Let me know how um, how you go with it. Thank you for Luke and Ronald for joining me. I know it's a little hard with all of us um, being in different parts of the world, etc. Um, but I'm really hoping that uh, we can get together a bit more on Studio One and um, collaborate our, our ideas together. Anyway, this is AJ again. Um, thanks for sticking around and I will post this up and please leave me some comments, um, and ideas and stuff, what I should be doing next. If you didn't catch it, I went live on YouTube, uh, for something different for the built-in effects, uh, episode bit crusher. So please check that out. There is a post, uh, probably below this now. Anyway, let me know about how you go with this little workflow idea. AJ, goodbye.